Hi, everyone. Welcome to Faith in an Ever-Changing World, Encouragement and Hope, Faith Story. I'm Janet Harley, your host. And my guest had to cancel today, Michael J. Patterson. Bless him. He's on a movie set. And he said he just could not get the scene changed uh, that he was supposed to be doing this evening. So they changed it to this morning. So uh, so we will pray for Michael J. Patterson on that movie set today that uh, he is doing such great work for the Lord. And uh, we'll uh, I'll be getting back with Michael to reschedule him. So look forward uh, to that in the near future. And right after this, uh, uh, intro, then I'll be back and I will be sharing my faith story with you. Um, this broadcast has been going two years last month. So, and I've realized that I haven't shared my faith story or at least one of them. So please stay tuned and I'll be right back. You know, we all have defining moments in our lives, like getting a degree, getting married, having that first job, having children, moving to another location, retiring. And all of these are good. They are huge defining moments and transitions in our lives. But the most defining moment for me and as I get older, I realize this more and more. That the most defining moment for me was when I made my public profession of faith. I grew up in a Christian home. Uh, Christian parents, they were just wonderful, who walked by faith and not by sight, especially my mom. So I had a good foundation. I was sitting in a movie theater at the age of nine, watching The King of Kings. Now, this was way back. <laughs> but that's when I felt the conviction. I had had questions and asking my mom and dad and my pastor at that time. But that's when I really felt conviction when I was watching that movie, The King of Kings. And I had always known God or known about God, but I really never had a, a relationship with him until I got older. That's when things really became so much clearer. Yes, I, I made bad decisions, as we all do, but even in our moments of bad decisions, God turns it to good. I remember, uh, in particular, a, a situation at work, and it was a misunderstanding, and, and I just felt so bad. And I prayed and prayed, and, and I'm a person that I want to make things right. But sometimes we need to wait and let God go ahead and do what he is going to do uh, to work out that situation. And he sure did. Um, you know, we just have to pray. And he orchestrated everything for the good. And it all worked out. A good friend of mine and fellow broadcaster, Andy Kirkendall of Morning Moments, wonderful broadcast. Please check it out every morning. He said, and I quote, good decisions come by experience, but our experience comes by bad decisions. Well, let me say that one more time. Good decisions come by experience, but our experience comes by bad decisions. In January, it will be three years that I would have been that I'm being uh, retired 
And when I retired, I asked God what he wanted me to do next. I'm an encourager. And he laid this broadcast on my heart. And I'm so blessed and hope you are by my guests and their stories. The world has always been ever changing and always will be. And in such a time as this, sharing our faith stories are more important than ever. And I truly believe that that's what God wanted to use me for, because as a storyteller, I know how important our stories are and in sharing them. Now, if you will pray with me that God will grow this broadcast according to his will and plan, because all the glory goes to him. It is not about me or my guests. It is all about him. I want to thank you for joining me for these few minutes and would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Janet Harley, my name. And if you will check out these two wonderful Christian networks, uh, networks that provide Christian content for you and your family. And that is Creative Motion Network and Abundant Television Network. You can also catch my broadcast, Faith in an Ever-Changing World, Encouragement and Hope on those two networks. Thank you for joining me again, and thank you on those networks. I, I just thank you for watching as well. And have faith, friends. Look up where our help comes from. Bye. God bless you.